What is up YouTube, it's the Pack Life here and we're finally back. So in celebration of NBA 2K22 that released a little over a week ago, with Luka Doncic on the cover, I thought now would be the best time to finally showcase my Luka collection. Now this might not be the craziest Luka collection, but the thing that um that's special to me is all these cards were pack pulled back in 2018. Um, mo well, primarily the, the raw cards were all pulled by myself. I bought a bunch of the graded ones. But yeah, these are all the Luka Doncic cards that I pulled myself and kind of just stashed in the collection. Um, now this video is going to serve, it sort of serves um, a double purpose. As for one, I'm, I'm showcasing my, my Luka collection to the Pack Life community, as well as it allows me to sort of um, catalog all of my cards because honestly I, I just I haven't even I don't r really look at this collection too much this has just pretty much been sitting in the stash and um, yeah I really don't know exactly how many Luca cards I have so this is actually the perfect video um, to kind of get multiple things done so um, this might be a lengthy video so without further ado let's just go ahead and get to it man um, this, I, this is really in no particular order. Um, the only, the only thing that I will say is, um, well, to actually start showcasing these cards, I'm going to show you guys the first Luka Doncic card I actually bought myself. Um, and here it goes. So this is the first card. Now this is a sleeper card. It's a, um, this is when I knew nothing about, um, you know, the brands and the sets with basketball cards. I thought this was one of the coolest um, looking Luka Doncic cards. And me, you know, un unknowing, I saw the Panini logo and I thought, you know, it, it's up there with Prism. So, um, yeah, this is the first Luka Doncic card I bought. I paid like, I believe like $14 for this. Now, these, these were on eBay like crazy. I know it's limited to... I think this run is out of, yeah, if you see it right there, it's out of 199. And um yeah, these these were all over eBay back in 2018. So, you know, um I bought a couple of them. One is top loaded and one is in the one touch. There's no reason for either. I just, you know, at the time I just this is how they were put into the collection. So I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible because I have quite a few cards. Um, and I will do a rolling, um, oh, I will do a total at the end um, one, once I'm done going through this to show you guys. So um, these are my very first eBay purchase Luca cards. So the Cyber Monday, legit. And these are, you know what, matter of fact, let me go ahead and do... The prism first. These are all pack pulled. Like I said, all my prism cards, everything pack pulled. Um, as you guys seen in my PSA Express video, um, I kept only the best of the best. And if you guys saw the, the three prisms that I submitted, all came back uh, gem ten or PSA ten. So yeah, these are all pack pulled myself, man. Um, two, three, and then the luck of the lottery. Um, I'm going to be inadvertently connected to Luca's career because his rookie year is the same year that I got back into cards. So, um, yeah, man, that's the whole 2018 rookie class pretty much is what I associate with, with in regards to collecting cards. So those are the prisms. These are the Donruss and the Donruss optics. All pack pulled myself. These used to sit in the $1.99 packs. Man, you guys started collecting back 2017, 2018. These were the Target fat packs that used to just sit there for months, dude, months. I remember these went on sale for like two ninety nine a pack. And all these came out, uh, most of these came out of those $2 packs. One, two, three, four. These are just the Donruss. Five, six, and then here's the Optic. I thought I, I actually thought I had more Optic than this, but I don't know. I mean, I guess I only have one Optic, which... 
It's perfectly centered and it's probably why I kept it. And to be honest, I didn't really like, as opposed to Prism, I didn't really like the look of Optic. It looked just so plain to me. That's probably why, um, you know, I, I gravitated more towards the Prism versus the Optic. And a lot of people prefer Optic. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, I have nothing against Optic. I actually like Optic. It's just, it's, to me, it's just right there behind Prism. But yeah, this is um, my one and only Optic Base Luca. And then here goes the, like, the different parallels. This this shock parallel sat in Target for um it just never sold out. I remember it it was there in Target for about up, upwards to almost a year after um the actual release. It was just sitting there. I don't know why I didn't buy any more, but yeah, these were 50 bucks and in the um Target exclusive you're you're guaranteed a whole set rookie set of the shock parallels for 50 bucks and then you get a single pack, which is pretty cool. Um that was uh, is a steal, just because this card goes for like 300 raw now, 250, 300 raw now. But yeah, these are my um, shock parallels, blue velocity. Anything blue, Luca, goes for a ton of money nowadays. Um, I gave one of these away on the channel, actually, and I don't know if the person that won it still follows, but yeah, you know, this is the crazy stuff that happens on this channel. Um, blue velocity, hyper pink, and then another optic shock. This time, this in the top loader or in a one touch. I um. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera. It's on my tripod. But, yeah, I um, all the ones that I thought were very well-centered had um, a chance of jamming. I just put in a one-touch. This is the only reason. Um, this is well-centered, too. I just didn't have a one-touch at the time. I'm telling you guys, the struggle was real back then. Um, so, yeah, those are my optics. And um, I really don't have too many numbered Luca cards just because they were so expensive at the time. Um, I know relative to what they cost now, I should have been buying everything, but no, you know, nobody knew. Luca Base Prism in 2018 was a $10 ship card, and it flooded eBay. Um, anybody that was collecting back then can attest to that. This is facts, dude. Like, um, the Luca Doncic cards only started blowing up around like mid 2019 or early 2019, like around the beginning of his second year towards the All Star break. That's when his cards started going crazy. But, um, Moving on, these are all the Chronicles cards I pulled. Um, I'm going to go with the Metallics and um, all the other, those type of cards first, and then I'm just going to go through the regular ones. So, um, Phoenix, Luka Doncic, Crusade, and then basically Chronicles, just the Chronicles base. And then one of my favorite cards out of the set, and I pulled this on the channel as well, because I was talking about how good um, Chronicles was. But here goes Obsidian. I pulled two of these. Very lucky, very lucky. Um, and then we're going to go to the lesser cards. Uh, these are just pretty much all my Chronicles pulls. I'll try to go through these as quick as possible. Um, no particular order. Elite. This is the Elite set. And then we have the Essentials, which is my favorite. I mean, this is my favorite looking... Um, I know it's not the most popular, but as far as like the way it looks, it has the action shot and then the still behind it. And then it's metallic, man. This is such an awesome, awesome set. I know they do this for football as well. Um, baseball even, I think. And yeah, it's just such a cool looking um, card. Surprised it isn't as um, any more popular than it is. So these, these are the essentials. All pack pulled myself. Just all put in the stash. Um... These are the base, and then we have the green essentials. All right. Those are all the, um, like I said, these are all my Chronicles cards. The funny thing is, um, I don't know, this. it feels a little more lighter than it should. I, I might actually have more Luca cards, but from what I went through, this is all I have so far. Um, these are the marquee cards. These look cool, too. And like I said, Chronicles, man, is just such an awesome break. It's not the most valuable, but you're going to have fun ripping Chronicles. I'll tell you that right now. And then we have the Studio Lucas, all pack pulled. Studio Lucas, and then we're going to go to Luminance is pretty much my favorite um, subset of Chronicles. I, ju I just love the like the font style and then the action shot. So here goes all my luminance. Um, 
Back in 2018, Chronicles actually had numbered cards, but I just never pulled any numbered Luka cards, but they did have other um, parallels, too, of the same cards. I'm going to see if I can show you guys if I come across any. All right, so here's all. those are all my Luminance cards. These are the Score Lucas. You can see Score Lucas, and then Classics. These actually came like I said. You could pull numbered cards like this, numbered to ten and such. But I just I never pulled a Luca. So um, here you go, Status. Or actually no, let me show you all my Chronicles. I mean, like I said, I have a bunch of Chronicles, and I'm gonna show you the rest of my stuff. Um, I said, I'm, um, I'm going through all of them just so I could do, I could count it at the end and show you guys. So here goes, just a basic, uh, or actually this is playoff. Man, I wish I pulled a gold, dude. You could pull gold out of retail back then. I don't know what Panini's doing. They stopped doing numbered cards in um, retail. It's crazy. And in and, and Chronicles retail, at least. So here goes all my um, playoff Lucas. And then here's the, like I said, here's the parallels in them it's a green and i think there's like i have bronzes and stuff but um i don't know i just maybe like i said i haven't gone through the collection in so long that i just i don't even know what i have anymore so I, now is the perfect time to actually do something like this so here's the base panini luca rookies check it out All of the base um, Panini ones, and then all of the base Chronicles, all pack pulled. I'm telling you, my intent though for all this was to kind of um, start a collection for my daughter. So pretty much all of these are just you know they're her cards, I guess, because I, I don't plan on selling them anytime soon. Um, maybe this will pay for my daughter's college at some point. Um, status Luca rookies. All pack pulled. I pulled some of these on the channel. Man, like I told you guys, I mean, I was breaking like crazy in 2018. Like, it was a legit addiction for me. But, you know, and then this is a good win, Champions. I actually want, um, I actually pulled this out of, uh, you know, Upper Deck E-Packs. Um, $10 pack ended up being like a $40 card or something. So, random good win, Champions. And those are all, those are all my um, raw cards. Now, let me go ahead and um, give me a second. Let me go ahead and get my slab cards so I can show you. Okay, I'm back. And let me go ahead and showcase um, or show you guys my slab cards real quick. Crusade, man. Crusade is such an awesome, like, awesome subset. I don't know. Not too many people like it. But if you look up the term Crusade, it's, it's kind of why I actually like the set. Um... Just go look it up. There's multiple terms, but it, it's just it's a cool subset to me. So here goes my graded cards, Mint 9 Crusade. Bought all these for really cheap when um you know back then a couple years ago. So those are the nines. These are the tens for the crusades. Then this one I yeah, show you showed you guys on the reveal. Um the shock. That's why I have um I have one more shock, and then I have the other uh, optics that I kind of, I don't know, I'm hesitant to get graded because I don't want to send it out there for 100 bucks and then let it come back at 8 just because I can't see what's actually wrong with the card, you know. So um, here goes the 8. You guys seen this. I got this graded myself, like I said. And then let me grab these. These were pack pulled myself, so I don't know. I re I'm really probably not going to sell these. Um so happy that these came back as tens. Pull these myself, and then we have uh, some more um, Crusade. This I bought this for like eighty bucks. Um, no subgrades. Crusade Luca. Then the pink cracked ice. On a whim, honestly, guys, I didn't even like the pink cracked ice, but on a whim, I said, you know what? Um, I think Luca. A lot of people are saying. He's a good player, so let me go ahead and just get a slab card. I bought this card for ninety dollars, shipped, and um, what made this card, you know, so special to me at the time because I, I started researching BGS, is that um, the true gem, you know, all nine point fives. 
I know this this was you were able to buy this for cheaper, but I, I spent the 90 just because of the true gem of it. And this is what what is this card worth today? Like three thousand dollars? It's insane, man. Luka Doncic cards, man. Um probably the most expensive in the game as far as ultra modern. Um PSA nine, I bought this from Legacy. Overpaid because this I I paid like four hundred dollars. But now this goes for like 300 but you know that's the whole card market in general man a lot of the stuff has gone down in price still still um way more expensive than back in 2018 i'd say about 10 times more expensive but it definitely has gone down since fe like february or march um once again bgs base but this is also a true gem on 9.5 so why i paid what i paid for it um keeping this forever or going into my daughter's collection and then last but not least the freaking Luka Doncic autograph I apologize guys um that's crazy that was a uh, DoorDash or whatever food service my wife ordered Wingstop and um they just happened to come in the middle of me recording so um I apologize I had to close out or I had to stop recording real quick but now we're back um like I said, this is the last card in my collection. My one and only Luka Doncic autograph. Um, as I said, I didn't know what I was doing back in 2019 with in regards to what was the best brands to get and um, which, which ones were the most valuable, which ones were the most sought after. But I know, like I said, I know I wanted, or I knew I wanted an autograph of Luka. Um, and I, like I said, I knew there was controversy with the Panini autographs is the... The actual Lulu signed by, you know, that was being shipped out by Panini was way different than this. And um, I saw videos of Luca signing live with Upper Deck. And I never saw him signing live with Panini. So I was, I just said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go with any kind of Upper Deck rookie I could get. And this was, or Upper Deck Luca autograph I could get. And this was the only one that I could get at the time. Um, I paid $400 for this. And, um... Yeah, as you can see, it's probably worth thousands now. I don't know what it's worth now exactly, but yeah. This is my only Luke autograph. Now, um, in one of my breaks, I showed you guys that I, I pulled the number to 50 orange Luca. Well, I sold that card. <laughs> and I sold it for way less than what it's worth. But here's the thing that you guys need to understand. Back in 2018, the cards... People knew about comps, right? Comps started becoming a serious thing. Everybody was doing comps. We were looking up what cards went for. So um, I got that. I got that orange to fifty slabbed myself. I sent it to PSA as a single, and I only paid a hundred bucks for it. it. Came back at nine. I really, I, man, I thought the card was beautiful. So I thought I had a great chance at a ten. Um, you know, at the time when I started thinking about graded cards. PSA 10 was the only thing people would talk about. So I was kind of upset at the nine. So as it, um, as it came back, um, at the time I, I wasn't really piecing Luca like that, to be honest. And it's such a stupid mistake. I was actually, and you've seen the upload I did. I actually was collecting Marvin Bagley more than Luca Doncic and Marvin Bagley's career is just, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't even want to speak on it. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about his career. But that's the thing. Um, with the orange Luca, I had, I put it up on eBay and it sold for almost, I think like 30% higher than the last graded orange prism sold for. So it sold, I sold it for, um, like a little under $2,000 and it comps at the time. The highest sold was about fourteen hundred, so I thought, you know what? Why not? I pulled it out of a twenty dollar pack. Let me make the two thousand. Lo and behold, that's probably a fifty thousand dollar card now. But you know, um, this happens to everybody that collects cards. You're always, if you're the first seller of a very popular card, you're gonna always end up being the one that takes the lease. So that's the most important lesson learned here. Um, with stuff like that, whenever you sell a card too quick. And it ends up exploding. Don't 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 worry too much about it, because um, what I did with that the orange, um, the profits I made from the orange, I bought so much stuff, and I, I flipped it over and over. I bought the Jordan rookie or the Jordan autograph. I bought the LeBron autograph. I bought this Luca autograph off of the profits that I made from that card. So um, it kind of works out. 
Um, it is what it is. But this video has been going on long enough. Um, I just wanted to showcase my Luca collection. After uh, my outro, I will do a total of how many Luca cards I have. And um, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. If any of you guys play NBA 2K22, let me know if you're having fun with the game. Um, and if you guys have any other questions in regards to collecting Luca cards, feel free to leave a comment below and I'm, I'm, I'll be glad to help you guys out. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.